There's this arrival right now. God is an arrival of revival. Revival has come. It is here. And there will be many people who miss it, just like there were many people who missed the birth of Jesus. And there were some who had spiritual eyes to see. It's the same way today. There will be some who have spiritual eyes to see. There will be others, many believers even, that will miss it, that will miss this great arrival of Jesus in his revival. So it is, it is, it is important you learn from these stories in the Bible that we have to be, we have to have the fear of God. We have to be ready because we could easily miss it. We will easily miss God if we are not ready, if we don't have the fear of God, if we are not preparing ourselves. And we must have the fear of God. We don't, we don't know what God is going to do. He is going to blow our minds. He's going to surprise us. He's going to do things that we didn't expect him to do. The Bible says, behold, I am doing a new thing. Do you perceive it? No one expected Jesus to come the way that he did. And so many people miss it because of that. So let us have the fear of God. Let us be wise in the spirit to learn from the word of God, to know that we must humble ourselves. We must humble ourselves or else we'll miss God. We'll miss his move. We'll miss our purpose. We'll miss what God is calling us to, this is serious. And God is saying more than ever now to have the fear of the Lord, to not take being a follower of Jesus casually anymore. If you do not be intentional about having the fear of God, meaning I don't want to miss God's will. I want to, I don't want to miss his voice. I want to stay in his will above all else. Yes, I have my dreams, my plans, my wills, my desires, but all of these are nothing compared to being in God's will. So this is the cream, this is the cream of the crop or whatever saying we want to say. This is the meat. This is everything. This is so much more important than these other things. Seek first the kingdom of God, God's will, and all these things will be added unto you. Not seek these things and then the kingdom you will have in your life. No. Seek first the kingdom of God, and then these things will be added unto you. So you have to renew in your mind, I better not be having this out of place. I better make sure I am seeking first the kingdom of God. I better make sure it's priority to be in God's will nowhere else, or else I will miss God's will. That's what having the fear of God is. It's this healthy fear. If I, it's as conscientious. It's like, I have the fear I have the fear of God to set my alarm or I'm going to miss church. I'm going to miss my appointment. I'm going to miss whatever God's calling me to do. I'm setting my alarm. That's what we have of. Whoo, we got to set my alarm. That <laughs> every day we whoo, I better not forget that. This is how we must be with God. I know that if I don't make it priority in my mind, in my heart, make the intention to have the fear of God that today I must be in God's will. I must follow his voice. I don't want anything else to, but to be in his will. If that's not my heart, if that's not the forefront of my mind, if that's not my intention, I will miss God. I will miss his will. That's what having the fear of God is. You know that if you do not do this, you will miss it. You will miss it sometimes. And it could be the very important times too. So that's when you... That's when you realize I must have the fear of God in my life. Every day, I will make the intention. And every time I'm not quite sure about something, I, will, I better not make sure that I become prideful. Anytime I'm not sure about something, I will humble myself. Like if God is coming in a new way. And like a lot of people, this is where they become confused. God comes in a new way. People are speaking against the move of God. This always happens. Happened in the times of Jesus. It will always happen. So when God comes in a new way, God is moving in, in power, doing miracles, deliverance. We haven't seen something like that in our generation. There will always be people saying, that's not God. And so many people end up being confused. 
in that moment they 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 see exposed videos they see they hear people saying this person's false this is not real whatever and um many people get confused and it, so 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 that's what i mean when these people that are confused this is the moment to have the fear of god and to humble yourself to know in this moment i better not mess up by not having the fear of god i will miss god right now if i don't have the fear of the lord